What is up, Kendall Williams Agents? This is your host, Sam Jackson of In Command with Sam, and I am super pumped to get into today's video. Um, we had a lot of awesome feedback on the Facebook leads uh, campaign thing that we just did last time. And uh, from that feedback, we had a lot of agents saying, hey, great, that's a cool video. I don't have listings, so what do I do? So today, we're gonna jump into how to do an ad around Keller Mortgage to get you leads on Facebook. So uh, this is using Keller Mortgage, a value added piece at Keller Williams to get leads on Facebook through command. So I'm super pumped to show you how to do this because there are a lot of feedback on, I don't have a listing, how do I do campaigns within uh, command? So just thinking a little bit differently here. Um, and just being completely transparent, this is some great content that has been shared across the Command Your Conversion uh, Facebook group uh, by Nick Baldwin and a few others. So if you're not on that page, definitely join the Command Your Conversion group on Facebook. You'll see a lot of great ideas like this. Um, and before we jump in, today might be a little bit of a longer video because there's, there's a lot of detail in here that we have to go into, but I think you'll get the feel for it once we do this one time. So uh, I'm excited. Let's jump right into it now. So in command, once you're logged in, the first thing we're gonna do before, before we even jump into campaigns, we're gonna go into designs and we're gonna grab all of the Keller Mortgage templates that are in there so that we can use them for our ad later. So this starts with designs. So we're gonna jump to designs. This is this icon right here. I'm gonna jump in there. And I wanna click on uh, the plus sign down here in the bottom right hand corner. So we're gonna create a new one. I'm gonna go to social. It's a very, very important, you click social and then click on next. This is going to take me into the uh, WeBrand uh, platform in the background. We're going to grab our Keller Mortgage uh, templates and designs. So let me move my face out of the way a little bit here. Super, super important. When you're in designs, make sure that you choose from the left-hand side what your goal is before we start picking uh, the actual like media. So I want to pick on Keller Mortgage over here on the left. And then I want to make sure I click on Facebook. So Ke Keller Mortgage and then Facebook. If you don't pay attention to this, you could easily download an Instagram um, uh, ad instead of that. So I'm just gonna click on Facebook and now I'm gonna download all four of these templates. So I'm just gonna go into here and click on use. I'm gonna open this up within uh, designs. I'm not gonna edit it, but my goal here today is I just want to download all four of these templates. So it's here, I can see it. I'm just gonna go up to the arrow up here in the top right, click on download. I'm just gonna go to PNG and click on start download. This will actually save it to my computer locally. So uh, just remember uh, where this is going. For a lot of folks, this will just hit your downloads. Uh, that's what it does for me. And I can see it there, it worked. Now I'm gonna click on the uh, red KW logo in the top left. It's gonna take me back a screen. And I'm gonna do the same thing just four times. I'm gonna move my face again, sorry. Click on Keller Mortgage, Keller Mortgage, number one, Facebook, number two. If you get out of rhythm, you might end up doing Instagram. So Keller Mortgage one, Facebook two, and then you click on use, because now I'm on the second one here. Give that a second to load. Cool, it's here. I'm gonna go up to the top right, click on download, PNG, start download. That's going to go right into my computer. Give it a second to, to let that go through. If you leave too early, this may not work. All right, cool, it's on my computer, I see it, we're good. I'm gonna go back, click on KW. Keller Mortgage, number one, Facebook number two, post number three. Click on use. And that, get, that does get a little tricky sometimes, you actually have to click on that red use button. I'm gonna click on download, PNG, start download. But the cool thing is you're only gonna have to do this once because you'll have these images saved on your computer. All right, cool, it's going, it's going. Sweet, it's there. One more time now, click on the red KW. I'm super excited to get these up today. Click on Keller Mortgage, click on Facebook, and then my last one here, your dream home is waiting. I love that one. Click on use, click on download. Go to PNG, start download. And we now have all four Keller Mortgage templates saved on our computer locally. Mine are all in my downloads. Uh, eventually later after the video, I'll clean these up and throw them uh, in another folder so I don't have to do this later. Cool, so now that we're done, we're not gonna click on the red KW. We're gonna go over here to the top right hand corner and we're gonna click on done. This will take us back to the uh, main command uh, dashboard. Right on, cool. So you can see I have these all downloaded here. They're all good. 
Uh, now I'm going to jump into uh, campaigns, and I'm still tempted to call it lead accelerator. Uh, click on campaigns, which is the bullhorn icon on the left. And I'm going to click on create a new campaign. I don't need to wait for this to load. I'm gonna click on create a new campaign. I'm going to do this first option here, which is a social ad, which is paid. And we're going to name this. So we're going to do it uh, Keller Mortgage Test. Uh, for this one, um, I'm interested in clicking on attract buyers. I'm not going to go after listings and click on attract buyers. We know some buyers do have listings, but we're going to do it just for the algorithm and the AI uh, for Facebook and Kelly. And I'm only doing this on Facebook today, so I'm going to check on Facebook and click on set up campaign. And now this should look familiar if you've done a Facebook ad. Uh, this shouldn't be too, too tricky. You guys have done through this, but I'm going to help you. Uh, I'm going to share you what I know from uh, Nick Baldwin's best practices with uh, Keller Mortgage Ads. So for the main copy, uh, we're not picking a listing, so we have to actually type this in. And the first thing I'm going to do, like always, I'm going to click on the emoji button, and we're going to search for a house. And I like this one right here. It's nice. It has a tree. And uh, I'm going to put this text in verbatim, and I will actually copy this and put it in the uh, YouTube channel link below in the description so that you can just copy and paste this for your ease. You may just need to adjust the emojis a little bit, but I'll, I'll keep this here for you. Uh, so we're going to say the killer mortgage zero plus, all one word, loan has, I'm going to make this caps, zero lender and origination fees, I'm going to go all caps here, plus, it's like I misspelled origination, yep, and plus, it's really important that you clean this stuff up. Plus 1,000 dollars towards third party costs on loans over $150,000, period. See if you qualify below and save some cash. And now we're going to do it like we always do. We're going to throw in some emojis. So I'm going to do the down pointer. Do this three times. Boom. And then I like to just copy and paste. Let's see. One, two, three. And we're going to throw another house on here. We'll do this one again. Love it. Cool. So the Keller Mortgage Zero Plus loan has zero lender and origination fees plus $1,000 towards third party costs on loans over 150000 See if you qualify below and save some cash. I think that sounds good. Let me double check my notes. Booyah. Okay, cool. All right, excellent. So we're good there with the ad copy. Now we're going to go down to the headline. And what we're going to put in here, and again, I'm completely borrowing this from Nick Baldwin, thanks to the KW Culture for awesome people like him. We're going to put in Git $1,000 back at closing. We go dot, 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 all caps, really. Exclamation, description, find out more about zero plus. Cool. Rocking and rolling, cleaning up my typos, and we are good to go. And again, I said I'll copy all of this so that you can do a quick copy and text from the description below. And then we're good. I'm going to click on Save Ad Text. Now I'm going to go to the Ad Media. I'm going to click on Configure here. And now we're going to just upload all four of those images that we downloaded from Design. So I'm going to click on Select Ad Media for this campaign. Uh, I'm going to Add Images. I'm going to drag and drop. And then I'm going to go to my downloads. Doesn't really matter the order, but I'm going to pick on this one right here. Let me see. One, two, three. Okay. So I got my four. I'm going to do this one here Dream Home. Give that a second. Preview and crop. Just going to adjust that a little bit. We want this to be on wide because we're doing it on Facebook. It looks good. Click on save. I'm going to click on add more. I'm going to go add images, drag and drop. And now I'm going to pick my second one here, which is. The market is hot. I'm going to click on open. 
And um, like we said before, some of these ads, what we're doing is we're not creating one ad with a carousel of four images. We're going to create four separate ads, and Facebook and, and Command are actually going to uh, just kind of promote the one that's doing the best. So whichever one is getting the most clicks will actually um, be shared more often than the others. So I think you guys get the feel for this. Number three here, loan pre-approval is fast. Click on open, preview and crop. Looks good, can't change a lot. And then my last one, add more. Should be the final one that we have here. Oops, add more, add images, drag in. My last one is that one there, cool. We are good to go. So now I'm rocking four images that should go here. Whatever one gets the most clicks will be the top dog. Click on save, add media, and you're good to go. And then the last thing we're doing is we're going to configure our Facebook ad. So when I click on configure, um, I'm going to come on here. I'm going to click on my page. So I'm Sam Jackson. I have a couple different pages. I'm going to pick the one that's most relevant. Kevin Williams, North Atlanta. I'll see my branding show up here now. And this is super important. If this is your first, uh, first time doing a Facebook ad, you will be defaulted on this bubble right here that says uh, use a site or landing page. What you want to do is click on use Facebook lead generation form. Now, if you're doing this for the very, very first time, there's going to be a screen that pops up that uh, comes from Facebook in which you have to agree to their terms, uh, just making sure that you're not a crappy person targeting the wrong people on Facebook for the wrong reasons. Uh, that's actually good for us. Once you accept Facebook's terms, it's going to take you right back to the screen. It's going to default you back to this bubble right here. But once you click on use Facebook lead generation, it will stick that second time. So uh, don't be afraid if you kind of run into something a little bit different, but uh, just follow the process. Now here is where I'm actually going to uh, kind of go off of command. And you probably want to do this from your Kelly app. So I'm going to actually show you a video on how to get your specific link for Keller Mortgage that you're getting lead specifically. So uh, stay tuned. So now we're gonna go into your phone and we're gonna to go to the Kelly app on your phone. You can see mine is down here in the bottom left. Uh, so I'm gonna click on Kelly. We're gonna open this up. You're gonna sign in. Uh, hopefully this works well for you. I'm gonna give it a second. But here on the bottom, I'm gonna click on the uh, command button and then I'm gonna to go up to Keller Mortgage, which is the second one up from the bottom. Click on Keller Mortgage. This is gonna take me to my personal version of Keller Mortgage. So I have to just log in with my password here. Now, once I'm in, um, I am automatically on my page for my link. So you can see I have my unique link here for Keller Mortgage. Uh, but if this didn't happen for you, I'm going to show you how to get there. I'm going to click on the hamburger button in the top left-hand corner. So that's the three lines. Then I'm going to go to uh, my KM settings, which is the one, two, three, fourth option down. Click on this, and then you're going to see this screen here. So now what I want to do is click the copy button. And I want to actually uh, just email this or text it to myself so that I have my own unique link uh, for Keller Mortgage. So email it to yourself now. Welcome back to seeing my face. So now that we're off of Kelly, what I want to show you is that once I've sent myself the link um, from the Kelly app and Keller Mortgage, how to get that and put it in here. So uh, hopefully you copied that from the last screen and had emailed it to yourself. If not, make sure you do that. Now I'm just going to go into my email. And uh, this is probably in my sense. Yep, so I have my KM link that I emailed myself. This is just copying it from um, the Kelly app. I'm gonna copy the link address and I'm gonna go back into command and this will be the destination, the URL which I send to people. So the goal is, is that we're gonna capture people on Facebook through lead generation and when they click on the ad, when they click on this image right here or any of the ads, um, they are going to go to my specific link to Keller Mortgage and not just Keller Mortgage in general. Make sure you went through that process of getting your link. Otherwise, you're just giving leads to Keller Williams and not yourself. So uh, super, super important that you're getting specifically your link there. Cool. And if you have any questions, uh, since you have Kelly up and open, just um, tell Kelly to find Sam Jackson, reach out to me, and I'll be more than happy to kind of answer your questions through that. But uh, hopefully that made sense to all of you. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna come down and click on add targeting. Once I have my link, move my face a little bit. I'm gonna use the custom settings here, or use, yeah, use custom settings. And then I'm gonna put in my own targeting. So location, this is gonna be based on where you're working and living. So right here in Alpharetta, we're in 30040. Let me actually type in the city, that would make more sense. Alpharetta. 
Cool. And the mileage, this is really going to depend on um, your geographic area. If you're, you know, up against uh, another state and your border actually hits, you know, beyond that 15 or 20 mile mark, uh, totally up to you. But, you know, for a lot of you, it's probably going to be 15, 20, maybe even larger uh, if you're kind of in some rural places. But totally up to you and what you want to do with the radius. I'm going to come down to expert targeting. And best practices here, um, and I've seen a lot of posts on the command pages with issues with uh, high impressions, decent clicks, not a great conversion rate. It's very, very important that you're not over-targeting. So we wanna keep this very, very simple. And uh, what we've seen recommended from our buddy Nick Baldwin is just type in mortgage loans. Just gonna type in mortgage. I'm gonna do mortgage loans and mortgage calculator, and then also mortgage insurance. So there's three right there that we're gonna target. Click on save selection. Actually, you don't need to do that. Uh, I'm gonna add more. So I'm gonna add or change interest. I'm also gonna type in Zillow. Whoops. Zillow, Ugh. I hate saying that out loud. It's like saying Voldemort. And then realtor.com. So to be crystal clear on targeting, we're doing just five things. We are doing uh, mortgage loans, mortgage calculator, mortgage insurance, Zillow, and Realtor.com. That's it. Keep it simple for this one. Then I click on save my Facebook ad. And then from here, it's your budget and duration. Um, so we've heard best practices, and this may take some playing around for each of you. Um, but remember, five and seven. Uh, so we're going to do it for five to seven days, five to seven dollars per day. So um, I'm defaulted here to 10, but I'm just going to drop this down. Just go to here, that's seven days, and take my budget up to $49. I'm spending $7 a day on Facebook for seven days. Totally up to you and your budget. Uh, if you wanna go on the lower end of that, just do $25, do $5 a day across five days, and you should see some great results. But um, you should see that these do probably cost a little bit more per lead, uh, but when you think about this, we're getting really, really great leads because these are folks who have actually taken the next step to look at mortgages. They've clicked at mortgages on Facebook, and it's not just, oh, look, a pretty house that caught my attention. They're actually looking, uh, and their eye was drawn to this, uh, this mortgage ad. So once you're good with all this, you're going to click on Publish Campaign, and then from here, you're just going to confirm which credit card, click Create Campaign, and you're out the door. So uh, at that point, and I have to remember to cancel it this time, um, I keep running ads for fun. Once this goes through its cycle, you're going to see um, just kind of your dashboard that this will be in the, uh, the process of Facebook getting approved. Cool. So we're here. You'll see my ad created in about two seconds. There we go. So my Keller mortgage test is pending review. Um, once that gets uh, approved by Facebook, this will be now live and out there. Now, if you did your ad the right way, you should never see it uh, unless you're actually in the profile of uh, a Facebook looking at mortgages. Um, this, if you did it the right way, you should never see your ad. It's not being posted to your own feed uh, or your business page. This is strictly targeting people that you don't know yet. So um, if you guys love this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I highly, highly, highly recommend going to the Command Your Conversion page on Facebook. That's where you see a lot of great ideas and content like this. And if you are new to my page, thank you for watching today. Uh, follow me on KW Connect. And if you can, just go to incommandwithsam.com and subscribe to me on the YouTube channel so you get alerts and notifications any time I do an awesome video like this. But thank you all for watching. I love you so much. I love Keller Williams Technology and all of you, please stay in command. Thank you.